What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a training guide for all the free players that you get from the Napoli Champions Campaign Reward from the 22-23 season. Obviously they have won the Serie A. So you've got five players up for grabs. Now you do get a free login bonus. We've already opened this with the free login. You just get that when you signed in yesterday. It'll be in your inbox and we got the goalkeeper. So we'll go through that. We also have another one that we're going to open up here as well. Um, and we're going to train him up and we're going to show you a, an example of how to train all, the, all of these players. Now, if you are looking to get more of these, right? So you get your free login bonus one, but you can also unlock two more. So if you play this event in the authentic match here, you go into events here and you complete this event. Uh, you can see here that we're continuing it. So you get two in that and then you get another two in this. Um, so you get one player there and you get your chance deal there. So that's another two in total. As you can see there with the event settings, you can set it to any difficulty. All you need to do is win the match. It doesn't matter how you win it or what difficulty you do, right? So challenge one, you get your first time reward as a chance deal for one of these packs. And then the second one is for another player. So in total, you will get three of these. Now, whether they will add two more like they did with the French pack, I personally think they will. And that will get all five players of this because it's a celebration uh, campaign for, you know, Napoli. Um, I think we'll get all five of these, but that's just my opinion. Similar to how we got the French one, it was spread out over a couple of weeks. So when we go in here, you will see that this will now have the five players with our one free. We're going to open up here as we do, and we're going to hopefully get... Um, I would presume Cavaradonna because that's who we want. Now we have multiple versions of Cavaradonna already, um, but he is a fantastic option to have. I don't really want Ashi, lads. We already have game change or Showtime Ashi. So Cavara or Labotko would be nice. Labotka, it is, it is Labotka. So this guy is quite decent. He's probably the, the, the one I would have wanted apart from Cavara. So um, he's a very good player that I think I'm going to use in my squad, especially because I think he's on A form as far as I know. Um, so all of these players are on A form this week, obviously to celebrate the Napoli's uh, result. So yeah, he's a good player. We'll get into that in a second, but I'm not going to spend too long. We will just show you different versions of him, right? So we're going to go over here to eFootball DB because it has all the right stats. That will disappear. So when you open up your free ones, it will disappear. Um, don't worry about that. Once you unlock more um, rewards and more uh, op pack opening uh, rewards, you will be able to a token. You will that will pop back up here again. Okay, so don't worry about that. If it goes down there and you won't see it, um, you will unlock it again, and it will be it will be back there again when you look at it. Right. So we're going to start with Ashi lads. Right, Ashman, one of the best strikers in the world at the moment. I feel like this card compared compared to some of his uh, Showtime card and his Player of the Week versions. I feel like the biggest problem with this card is his finishing, lads, as a center forward, as a goal poacher. Because even when you pop 8 into finishing, it's only going to be 85. Now, you will get the boost on A form um, with the A form here. And, you know, he doesn't have unwavering, which is a bit of a pity. Um, this Showtime version of him here, which we looked at here, this is a slightly worse card. But obviously, that had 29 levels compared to 21. So, they are similar in ways. And we've maxed him out with 8 shooting. 8 into dexterity, 7 into dribbling, 2 into lower body, and 4 into aerial strength, right? If you don't cross in a lot of balls, you'll still have enough in uh, in acrobatic finishing and stuff and heading. Um, so you don't need to really highlight that too much. But I definitely think he needs to be an all-rounder in your squad. You know, you need to play him like Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, he's not obviously uh, going to be as slow as Ronaldo, but his finishing isn't going to be as good either. And his tight possession and stuff. So that is how I would train in there. If you want to pause this video at any uh, stage you can al alternate as well i mean if you struggle to shoot and you don't dribble that often i mean you can take one out of that pop it in here and then pop one more in to have 88 speed it, it depends on your uh, versatility of how you actually set up your squad to have 86 finishing and with the boost that will probably go to 88 89 next up we've got the goalkeeper very easy to actually train this guy up he's got good solid stats across the board um 90 reflexes is where we always have our base and then the rest it's just six, eight, and nine into the goalkeeper, one, two, and three slots. I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time. He's just your traditional goalkeeper, lads. If you are struggling for a goalkeeper, he's a fairly good, fairly tall, fairly solid defensive goalkeeper with a left foot and low punt trajectory. So we've also got De Lorenzo, one of the most solid defensive-minded right backs. Even though he's an offensive fullback, he's an absolutely beast going forward. Now, as far as I know, lads, this guy can play centre-back as well. 
Um, correct me if I'm wrong. There was a version of him, I think, that was a little bit better than this. If you have this version of him here, um, that's going to be the player of the week one. There has been multiple versions of him. This is his sixth card, but he is a very decent player, Les. He's got a wavering form and on A rating this week as well is going to be great. But I have trained him up defensively because when you look at his stats here, when he gets the boost, he's going to have tackling and stamina over 90, which is always good. Defensive awareness, aggression is very, very high. Speed and acceleration are very good. And his dribbling and passing is quite solid as well. One thing on this card is he does not have pinpoint crossing. So on any of these uh, players, he doesn't have it, um, which is a bit of a pity. The player of the week has more skills as you hover over here. Um, but that's just something to keep in mind. We also have Labatka, who I just bought there. Very solid player. Very, very good player. He's got a good few levels to train up as well. We've popped five into passing, seven to dribbling, 10 into dexterity, eight into lower body and defending. Now, I mean, depending again, he is an orchestrator. So I personally probably wouldn't play him as my main DMF. That's just something to keep in mind. And if you're not going to be playing him as a main DMF and you have cover at defensive midfield, I would just probably pop in a couple here just to train him up a little bit, not to totally neglect his aggression. Probably get that up to 80. Um, with the aggression, that's probably the main stat that you want there. And then that frees up a couple of more slots if you want to play him as kind of like a double pivot CMF or DMF uh, kind of hybrid player. He actually is better as a CMF with those stats because he goes to a 94, I think, um, if you train up his passing to be nearly 90. And then obviously you can pop in one or two more into his dribbling and ball control as well. Now, if you like to run a lot with your orchestrators and you like to have that bit of kind of vicious pace and power, you can also get that up a little bit as well. Because I think 88 low pass is more than enough. 88 low pass um, with ball control and with those player skills is definitely more than enough, I think, for this type of card. And if you wanted to do that as well, you could pop one into um, or two into... Uh, the jump there as well if you wanted even though he's not the tallest player you do want to have that physical contact well no actually in hindsight I probably wouldn't bother doing that lads I would probably just put one more into defense there if I was going to do that as an orchestrator um, or else you can totally neglect that altogether and just put the passing back up there if you wanted to to get 90 passing but I think that leaves you no room for the boost so you could just pop it into dexterity if you wanted as well there's multiple ways of training it depending on your play style and your tactics and your formation so the pick of the pack lads is probably Cavara right this guy is an absolute machine he's gone from strength to strength when you compare him with this MVP mid-season MVP version of himself right this MVP version, even though he's got 34 um, levels, so he's obviously going to be trained up a little bit differently. He's got different play, different play style, right? Or different um, player skills, okay? But he also has a lot more levels to be trained with 34. But I do think that his speed uh, is the big concern with this card and the finishing. Because even if you train this guy up, you are going to get a similar card depending on where you kind of like... Um, training because he's got minus seven in dribbling so you need to put seven into dribbling straight off the rip whereas with this guy he goes with nine he goes up into the 92 zone now i would say as well that 90 acceleration balance ball control and dribbling is extremely good for a winger especially when you have low pass at 75 you've got finishing at 75 and you've got curl at 76 with stamina and speed over 80 that is a huge card if you have not tried out this guy lads cabaradana he is an absolute machine on the wing, especially when he's in form. And he's stronger than he looks as well. He's well able to attack from both flanks, left or right. 94 overall, I think he's a monster. So if I was making one alteration to that, if you don't shoot a lot, I would probably take the tree away from there. And I would probably add one more to tight possession. Just that when you do get that player form arrow, that's going to go over the 90 zone. Um, so you would have 90 tight possession, 91 ball control, 93 dribbling, 90 acceleration and 90 balance. Plus, you've gotten a couple of extra boots, so they'd actually go higher with the player form arrows as well. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. If you wanted to kind of have him that way, um, I think having 90 acceleration is 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 key. Um, if you wanted to take that away, you could add one more onto his dribbling and his offensive awareness and his acceleration would go over the 90 and over the 80 mark as well. But you will get that boost with the offensive awareness. So that's why I would pop it onto either passing or shooting with that card. So that is it, lads, for me. I'll be back with another video quite soon. Hope you're enjoying these. Any questions, let me know. Any suggestions, let me know. Any feedback, let me know. Peace.